This is a demonstration of the CCF fit test audiometer. The fit test audiometer is used to verify the amount of noise protection that workers receive from their hearing protection devices. Issues of poor fit, incorrect insertion, or improper choice of earplugs result in an unacceptable personal attenuation rating, indicating the need for follow-up. Testing your population ensures that you are delivering the right amount of noise protection for the work environment. Let me show you how the CCF200 verifies workers' noise protection. First, let me show you what the device looks like. You'll find that much of this device to be similar to the Benson CCA200 audiometer products, including the software, even the tone presentation and patterns are similar. Notice that the headset uses the standard TDH39 transducers, the same transducers that come with all Benson medical products, as well as the same headset cord and patient response switches. The headset looks similar to the circumoral headphones you may be familiar with, but look closer and you'll notice that there's one significant difference. The transducer is much deeper in the cavity to ensure that the hearing protection device doesn't become compressed or change form when putting on the headset. Before we get started, we need to ensure the device is working properly with the daily calibration using BAS 200 bioacoustic simulator. First, you will unplug the patient response switch, which will turn on the unit. Next, put the daily calibration checkbox and press start. Now perform an audiometric fit test using the CCF200 fit test. Please put on the headset. And here's the patient response switch. We're going to do an unoccluded test first, which means that there's no earplug inserted. The test can be configured to do a test either way. As you can hear, he's being given instructions in his native language. And in the application, I'm able to enter normal demographic type information. All right, Nick just concluded the unoccluded portion of the test. You can remove your headset and insert your ear protection device. And now we will re-begin this portion of the test with this hearing protection inserted. All right, our patient has completed the full fit test. As you'll notice, we only tested 501K. This is by default. The test can be configured to test 500 through 8K or any combination of thresholds that you'd like. Also, the test can be configured to test occluded or unoccluded first. Uh, in this situation, we demonstrated doing unoccluded first and then occluded. However, if you wanted to pull your workers straight off the factory floor, test them with their earplugs in, and then have them take it out and do another test and look for the difference, that would also work. Uh, if we scroll further down here, we can see the different exposure levels that we entered for uh, John Johnson. Uh, and con continuing down, we can see the most recent analysis. The NRR is the value taken from the packaging on the hearing protection. Below that, we see the left and right PAR. The PAR is the personal attenuation rating, so this is how much protection he was getting from that plug. We can see for the left ear, he was actually getting more than what they're rated for, which you do see occasionally. Uh, and then if we go all the way to the bottom, we can see the overall uh, PAR. So the, that's basically the average of the left and the right PAR. And then the protection rating of, this is a percentage, 56% of the protection that these are rated for he's getting. If we go to the right, we can see the OSHA and NIOSH values. This lets you know what percentage of noise the worker has been exposed to given their exposures and the protection rating. This worker, according to OSHA, 
when he's unprotected, he is still in safe levels, and when he's protected, he's only getting 4% of his daily dose. For Nyash, however, unprotected, he's getting 260% of his daily dose of noise, which is an issue. However, when he has his hearing protection in, he's within safe levels. There are a variety of reports that can be printed, including individual reports, builder reports, and company listings. The software with the Plus package also allows multiple companies and multiple languages. You may have noticed during the tone presentation that the thresholds are determined using modified Houston Westlake in blocks of five. Once that threshold determination is made, it does it down to one dB. Thank you for your interest in the CCF Fit Test Audiometer. If you have any questions about fit testing or about Benson products, please reach out to us using the contact information seen on the screen.